My name's Alex Joynson and I farm here at Marnsbury in North Wiltshire. We have a variation of soils. We range from Cotswold brash to heavy clay and light dry gravels over clay. So we have a variation in the requirements for our grass to grow. We run a sheep flock, a beef herd and grow cereals in organic rotation. I've over the years played around with different white clover mixes, red clover mixes and the one I found best production at the moment is the herbal mixed lay that we've got here from Cotswold Seeds. I did put two strips across two different fields, one was clay and one was gravel to see how they produced and they show up quite well on um, Google Earth and they outproduce the white clover lays around them. So that's why we've gone for more of the red clover herbal mixes. The downsides to the red clover herbal mixes is the chicory and the silage leaves a lot of stems as we round bale only. That can be a disadvantage, but we just put more wrap on. The cattle aren't as keen on the chicory as the sheep. The sheep do really well on the chicory and the lays are really good for finishing lambs. The red clover could be a problem for tupping ewes, although we did tup ewe lambs on this herbal mix here and we got an 80% tupping off it, which for our own produced ewe lambs we were very happy with, with some having triplets and quite a lot of twins in those ewe lambs. So it didn't seem to have too bad an effect. The sheep have always seemed to prefer it. They graze it very tight compared to the rest of the field. So it seems to have more thistles growing on it because it's a bit more open because of the grazing. But it has out, outperformed and it still is highly visible after all this time. And the sheep are still grazing that for harder than any of the rest of it. These are the sort of things that push us towards going for these herbal lays and when you work out the um, the extra expense in the initial year and spread it over four years it isn't isn't too bad. Our rotation is wheat, oats, barley undersown with grass mix and then three years grass before we go back into wheat. On the very dry brash soils, we do struggle to keep the summer growth. We're hoping as we go round over those with these herbal lay mixtures, that we will get to see more growth in the summer. And we're hoping that with the deep rooting effect of the, the chicory and the red clover to improve the soil structures and re the soils a bit more when they come back into the arable rotation.